Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have Oracle cards here for you, Sagittarius, and we do have a storyline available. Yes, we do, and uh, breaking news over here at Power and Light, right? But uh, I hope you guys are all well, too. And uh, we have this card here, Cap uh, Sagittarius, from, mm -hmm, from this particular deck here, and this is the King of Pentacles. And, you know, here's the woman walking, and, you know, she's wearing her kind of cute kind of cute outfit here and and you know these people are both maybe a little bit older but maybe 40s or just something like that it doesn't really matter the age but this king of pentacles sometimes is somebody with money can be uh this could be a man or a woman doesn't really matter uh but the point about it is that these people here are at the airport yeah or they're leaving some place here maybe but they look like they're at the airport because uh he has a bag here like and um, she's walking. Maybe it's a career man, possibly, uh, because she doesn't really have that. She kind of has, like, just her bag. Oh, she has her little puppy here. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is somebody who's, like, kind of career here. Mm -hmm. But this could be somebody who's traveling to you, who could maybe be an earth sign, but somebody who's traveling to you who has money. Somebody's coming. These people are both walking here. They're going somewhere. They have a destiny, right? They have to get to their destiny, and that's why... I was saying they could be at the airport. And we have uh, also, uh, let's see, we have the cauldron here showing up. Mm -hmm. This is the rich broth. Uh, whoever's coming here feels like this is fated. So I would, we have Eileen Chang over here with fate. So they could definitely feel like, uh, or whoever this is, feels like this is very rich, the rich broth. Like this is, something great here, like, right, yeah, I honor this, I, this is, I'm excited, this is like, uh, you know, and this can be about creativity, maybe your, your creative juices are really flowing right now in the new year, but it can also talk about, uh, somebody who surprises themselves, because somebody could be coming, and they don't know what to think, maybe when they see you, right? Maybe, you know, the cauldron is here. Maybe you're going to turn him into a frog, Sagittarius, right? And uh, this fate card kind of talks about somebody who is, like, fated for somebody. But this, you know, Eileen Chang, she went through something really, really hard, and so, you know, uh, maybe she thought that this was my fate, right? Because when things happen, you're like, wow, this is, why would this just happen to me? It's horrible, or you know? But she ended up okay. She did. And so maybe this is about some, maybe somebody has went through something really difficult uh, because they feel like they are fated for you, right? Uh, I would, I'd go through something difficult if I thought somebody was fated, like my divine partner, yeah. And we have trickery. This is Agatha Christie, yeah. And she should have changed her name to Christie Agatha because uh, I like Christie better than Agatha. What do you guys think here? <laughs> I'm really bad. <laughs> I used to I always make fun of these old-fashioned names when I was a kid, growing up in the 60s. I go, why would they name that? that they used to name men uh, <clears throat> Dorothy, I swear to heaven. <clears throat> and Richard means like, you know, and they used to call uh, men who were named Richard, they call him Dick. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel like they still do in some places, right? So uh, let's get back to the story because I'm kind of messing this up here, right? But the trickery card, somebody might not know what to expect here because they have tricked you in the past. It's a possibility, Sagittarius, because this is deep uh, with this. And then the endurance card, this can also talk about, especially with the fate card, that somebody really endured a lot of pain to, I feel like, probably to come forward because this lady here, you know, uh, Anna Akhmatova, she was in Russia, <clears throat> and uh, they killed all the farmers so they could s destroy the supply chains. Yeah, sound familiar? Yeah. They killed all the farmers so they wouldn't have any food. They knew the people couldn't fight back so they could have a dictatorship. They already had one, but they were trying to even uh, put their, you know, take control of the people even ever so more. This poor lady was a strong woman. This, uh, she had, her husband died, they killed her husband, and she's holding the potato because that was the only thing to eat. Yeah, it's deep and sad, it is. But she, um, you know, so here in this, uh, this card here, she endured it, she went through a lot of pain, and so did Eileen Chang. Somebody has endured a lot of pain here. Maybe they have tricked somebody else to come forward, but... 
there's some trickery. He, there is some kind of deception here, but I feel like because uh, maybe you are somebody's third party, but there's some type of trickery here, and I already feel some type of doubt here for somebody. I, I'm not. I don't think it's you, but let's see because this picture is not is not yet clear. No, it's not because it looks so deep. Let's see what it says here about. Uh, and we have the barn, so somebody's coming. This is a visitor. Sagittarius, right? And it's not your cow named Betsy. No, it's not because she gives you, you know, beautiful milk. Somebody said that's not nice to milk your cow. Really? Why not? You're just squeezing their titties. I mean, that sounds so stupid. And, but anyway, long story short, I mean, maybe to make steak, I could see how somebody might think that's cruel. Yeah, but not milk. All right. So this is somebody who's fake. Somebody who's on this platform who's fake. Yeah, I think some guru but anyway long story short that's I, I mean yeah he's not a doctor either so that's why I feel like it's fake right or uh, what do you call those the the veterinarian but long story short uh, Sagittarius somebody's coming to visit you right maybe they think you're gonna put them in the barn here uh, they could they could be kinda of, kinda of, there's some a little bit tiny bit of fear here yeah and I can't kinda of peg it yet it could be because of the trickery but it's not fear enough to hold somebody back because here they come, the first card I picked, right? Uh, this lady, she's going somewhere, and she looks kind of happy, too. And we have uh, the quill. This can talk about, like, your thoughts, uh, because, you know, this is a pen, right? The quill, mm -hmm, they used to dip in ink in case uh, nobody knows about that stuff. Uh, let's see what it says here about the quill, the three of diamonds. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, speaking to... Uh, the feather quill. The feather quill foretells that somebody wants to hear from you. You see, it's next to the barn. Somebody uh, is going to contact you, Sagittarius, and they're coming to visit you. They want to talk to you. Uh, they want to hear from you. Hear from you. Kind of. Maybe they're waiting for you to contact them. But when you want to hear from somebody, it's kind of like you want to know what's going on in their life. Kind of. I feel like this person might want to contact you. Uh, and then it says, alone, uh, it can signify three pieces of good fortune, but warns against throwing your money away. Mm -hmm. Somebody's coming to visit you, Sagittarius, they are. Mm -hmm. And they want to hear from you. They're, they miss you. I feel like they do. They feel like you're fated for them. And then we have the Eight of, Pentacle, eight of Spades here. And this is, talks about, uh, it can talk about somebody who is like, in the upright, it talks about you made your bed, go lay in it. Somebody might be afraid that they did something wrong, this person, and now they're going to lie in their bed. Uh, they could because uh, I just feel like they might think that. But here, this in the reverse, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good luck card. It can talk about, let's see what it says, denotes a return to health and good habits. It shows a way out, at, out and a light at the end of the tunnel. That's what somebody wants here, I'm pretty sure, this visitor. They want light at the end of the tunnel because maybe they tricked you. Maybe they put you through something really hard with this endurance card, right? They could have. <coughs> maybe they had to go through something really hard to figure out that you are their destiny and you, you are fate for them. I feel like that's what this is about. Mm -hmm. And this can also talk about somebody might not, like they might have been in a situation where possibly where they thought that that was meant to be that relationship, but it's not, because that's what this card, uh, that card talks about in the reverse. Whatever you were doing before was really not meant for you. Really kind of interesting how it all ties in. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. And these have been already shuffled. Yep, and we're going to go ahead and kind of cut these cards. Today we're using these other cards, just because... Uh, they are interessante. Yeah, they are very interesting. We're going to get some cards here from the bottom of the deck here uh, of the traditional tarot, you guys, uh, and see what they have to say, right? Just because, yeah, and this is a tarot deck over here. It's just a different deck. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius uh, and clearly their person here, right? Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. So, mm-hmm. And the bottom of this deck here is the Fool card. Wow, this looks like Capricorn's reading. We have the Chariot. Somebody's coming in the Chariot. This is movement. They're coming. Do you see? 
And don't put him in the barn, Sagittarius, all right? Yeah, and don't put him in the dungeon, all right? Because I know how you guys are sometimes, right? We have the Justice card, the Queen of Pentacles. And this is the King of Pentacles right here. And maybe it's the Queen because it's a woman in front. Uh, but it's either the King or the Queen. No, it's the King because I was reading it. This is the King of Pentacles. They're coming. Here's the Queen. This uh, It could be an Earth sign who's coming is my point. Or somebody who's got some dough. It could be Libra, it could be Cancer, and it could be uh, the Fool, which is Aries. So we have three major arcanas here and the Tower, four major arcanas, and the King of Wands. And we're going to take this last card because uh, we have right here the Page of Swords. This person's coming, and they're not, they don't, not sure how you're going to react. The Page of Swords is a curious person. This person is coming. There's going to be movement. They're going to take a risk on you. Whatever that is, right? You're risky, Sagittarius, right? Because you're, because you're a badass, right? You could be risky, all right. And uh, you could be risky. Uh, what I, why I say that is because maybe they tricked you in the past with this trickery card. Because whoever's coming, I'm just getting kind of a feeling here that they're not sure how you're gonna how you're gonna take them, right? And so this is a gamble, and this is a whole new life. Maybe they're leaving another situation. The the fool is a whole new paradigm. Right? It is. I'm going to take this chance and jump off the cliff and I'm going to land into a brand new world. And so I feel like the decision was made, a very thoughtful decision with justice. Right? She's holding the scales. This is about a fair decision. She's holding the sword. And the tower is here next to the king of wands. And the uh, we have here the... Uh, the Page of Swords. They think this might be a tower. That's what I was just saying. This person could be, uh, and maybe they have gone through a tower, but it looks like this person is afraid this might blow up or end or something like that. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius right now. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius, please, for Sagittarius. We have uh, the Troublemaker here. I was just saying that. We have, uh, we're going to talk about that. Let's see. Put these cards out. In the past, this person was lying to themselves. This is the actor, like, reading their lines every morning about their life. Like, like it's, it's somebody who lies to themselves about what they really need in their life. Or maybe lying to themselves about, kind of, uh, if they were happy or not. What's on their mind is the marionette. And the marionette is, yeah, this is kind of confirming this, is... The little puppet here, who's wearing beautiful clothes, but is controlled by somebody because the strings are here. So this is your, your, this is about, you know, this is what's on your mind here. You feel like this person here could have been fake here because they were maybe controlled by money or some stability. Because she's a puppet, but she has like luxury clothes on, like a little queen. And in the past here, maybe this person lied to you, the actor. That's the name of that card. But the actor could be somebody who lies to themselves. This is why they are not an effective king, right? They're not uh, uh, effective or effectivo or competent or, you know, like, uh, like a legit king. Like we have somebody who's uh, in charge and that's not a legit, that person's not legit. If if you are studying things, you would. There's no way you could disagree. They're not legit. Illegitimate for sure. So if you are studying, but if you are not, and you just or if you're just listening to the mainstream, you might really think that because that's what they want you to think, that these people care and that they're they're doing a good job. And good God, no, because every time somebody like raises a question, they 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 cancel them, or says let's have an open discussion about what's going on. They cancel them. Okay, so right here, Sagittarius, uh, in this reading here, this is your reading, supposedly, but this is clearly a storyline. Somebody wants to take a chance here, and they feel like they might get in trouble, kind of. Or this can be somebody who is like, like a troublemaker, like they're going like to kind of, uh, what do you call that when you kind of... Uh, When you kind of like shake the bowl, or I can't think of the expression, right? 
but this is about somebody who's like stepping into fire because they want to kind of they're they want they want something but they know it's going to cause a lot of trouble and this person and right here is uh this is called i believe the mediator and this is talks about two this talks about this man he's brought her some news and he's consoling her he brought her he had this is mercury energy or gemini but doesn't have to be but i'm saying he has the 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 wings on his head right because he has flown or f walked or whatever he did and he obviously he didn't fly in those days but unless he was on a bird or something but he has uh over here he has the wings on his feet so he's the messenger and he's brought her news and he's consoling her she's crying he said i have news for you and she, he probably said sit down she started crying this this talks about talking about feelings like really getting things out on the table and somebody's grieving here and the root here is strategy this could be somebody's uh, reading your person's reading where they are this is you could be thinking this or they're doing this they are in their strategy about what to do here's the man playing chess he's moving the king around he's actually moving the messenger around this person is going to come to you. We just saw the barn uh, and the quill. They both talk about communication, visitors. And this is the strategy about that message, about that message too. Because here's the messenger on, on the pawn, on, the, on the, 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 check, the chessboard. We have a man and a woman here. Back here is, you know, it looks like it's, you know, a woman here. And so... In the near future, we have this card about a caring for uh, children or caring for people who are like less, you know, a little bit less like uh, here she is, you know, with, with the cradle here. And she's rocking the cradle. And But this card can talk about grief and somebody who is so in, in so much grief here that they might not be able to take care of the kids. OMG. This can talk about somebody who is kind of weak and also, and who is kind of grieving. And this is in the near future. With regard to the placement here. And in your concern here is rebellion. You want somebody to run away from somebody. I'm almost positive, uh, Sagittarius. You probably feel like this person is fated for you. Maybe you have waited a long time, endured this situation for a long time. You could have. But in your concern is rebellion. And here's a little boy running away from his mother like, I don't want this. I don't want those toys you gave me. Uh, I don't want to live in this little farm or wherever we live. They look like they live in this really beautiful kingdom over here. Mm -hmm. And he ran kind of far away to leave the kingdom. You want this person. This is your concern. You want them to run away from their life. Pretty sure here. And be with you. And in the environment here for you is responsibility. This talks about, this could be somebody who is now, this could be your concern though. Are they going to be responsible for, maybe their kids, but uh, responsible for, for me. Because this person could have created a union like with you and like in the past. And are they going to be responsible now for, or maybe they are, maybe this is their environment where they are being responsible now for a family or kids. Because I feel like somebody might have a family here. We see two kids already. In the environment is, uh, in your environment, you're all in your mind here. This is cerebral energy. This is, this is the messenger. This is the symbol on. You could be waiting for, uh, waiting for them to bring you news. Waiting for communication. You could be thinking this person is going to bring me news about how responsible they're going to be with me now. Because I feel like somebody in the past with this trickery card probably wasn't. And we have in your desire here uh, our hope. And this is not uh, hope, but this is castigation. This is somebody who is either kind of beating themselves up, uh, like causing self-pain. He's drawing blood. Uh, I don't think this is really your desire, uh, but this is somebody... I feel like you want somebody to make a decision, a painstaking decision to come be with you. I feel like you're hoping they're doing that. In the past, they lied to themselves. They did. Or lied to you. Both. 
And in the outcome, Sagittarius is uh, the clinging card. And here she is clinging to her money, although she lives in this jail cell. She's unhappy, but she has a lot of money. And this is what's on your mind over here. If somebody has kind of possibly been a puppet, maybe for money, possibly, or for stability. She's trying to gain her stability. Well, she's holding herself up because she's a ballerina. This can talk about stability. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius and in your desire here. You could feel or hope. You might know here. It doesn't have to be that. But you might know that this person is really overwhelmed here. Or this could be you. Overwhelmed about making a painstaking decision. Because over here, there's some type of... Uh, somebody's grieving. This card is called grief. And maybe they don't have to take care of kids. Like, you just can talk about grief. But, I look, I feel like somebody's grieving here and somebody's leaving. These cards are right next to each other. This is a very deep reading. Like, this reading could go on. I'm not kidding. Let's see here. Uh, let's look at the heart of the matter one more time. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is... Somebody who is taking a chance and stepping into fire to be single. It's like the troublemaker. It's somebody who kind of disrupts their union. Like, I'm going to, like, do this. I'm going to take a chance. Like, I can't think of the word. Like, I'm going to be the rebel. I'm going to step into the fire to be single. And here's the man consoling the woman. And in the outcome, we're going to get one card on this clinging card. Somebody's clinging to your person, I believe. And they're trying to make a pain, or they have made one. But you don't. You might not know they've made this decision. But the visitor is here, the barn, and the quill. And here we have clinging to money here, clinging, and we have the ace of cups. Your person's going to bring you a brand new beginning in love. They are. But we're going to go to the extended because I really want to see it. Yes, I do. Because this is what you're hoping and planning for. You are overwhelmed because you think this person might be clinging to clinging to money and this is because you want the ace of cups with them this is you this is your reading you're overwhelmed about it you might be thinking this is too much of a painstaking decision for them so we're going to end this reading we're going to do the spread just like this for them thank you so much you guys for joining me here god bless everybody and please remember to like share and subscribe